Four years ago, in the summer of 1949, a group of nine respected companies came together to craft a vision of the future of America. They set upon themselves one key question. What makes America great? Is it the sweat of our brows? No. Is it the beautiful land upon which we built our homes? No. It is the ability for any man to achieve whatever he sets out to do using the tools of his great nation. Welcome to the American Dream. My name is Buddy Washington, and I will be your guide. We'll be going on a trip through time to discover the magnificent future that lies ahead with you and your guns. Soon you'll learn just how guns will be able to help you live life to the fullest. And as a special treat at the end of your tour, you'll get a sneak peek into the wondrous gun factory of tomorrow. We began with humble gunsmiths toiling away in their workshops. But a much grander future is in store for us. Press the green button in front of you, and we'll continue onward. Before we get started, we'll need to perform a brief questionnaire, a background check to gauge your eligibility to participate in the American Dream. Please select your gender. Select your skin tone. Have you handled a firearm before? Have you been convicted for any serious criminal offenses? Which is your dominant hand? Are you currently on any terrorist watch lists? Also, a word of warning. Please be aware of your surroundings while you experience the ride. You'll be waving your hands around a lot, so best not to play next to an ancient Ming vase or a full coffee pot. We want you to have a safe and fun journey. Please enjoy this brief introductory video. Ah, the home. The busy centerpiece of American life. It's where you'll find a diligent wife tending to her family's needs. Take a peek inside, and you might find her preparing her husband's favorite meal. their beautiful child. Or even taking a little extra time to make sure everything's nice and clean. The husband is hard at work providing for his family. Whether he spends his days as a blue-collar worker in a bagel factory or as a young corporate manager on the rise, it's his job to bring home the bacon. On the weekends, husband does his part around the house as well. Managing finances tending to the garden. And then finally settling down for some well-earned R&R. &R. And a delicious home-cooked meal. Kind of fat. 
family everyone should aspire to be. With the kind of home everyone should want to have. This is the American dream, the perfect way of life. Press the green button in front of you to begin your journey. You may have noticed that you're carrying a pair of Carter 1912 single action semi-automatic pistols. From the battlefield to your back pocket, the Carter 1912 will be the tool of choice for all your everyday needs. Let's see how the baby of tomorrow will learn how to use their very first gun. Before you can use the gun, you'll have to load it. Move your right gun across onto the magazine. That's it! Nothing like the sweet sound of a magazine sliding into the gun. Great job! You're now armed and ready. Baby's hungry. We need to let mommy know. Knock on the door a few times to get her attention. You did it! Mommy's here and look what she has. Looks like you're out of bullets. Hit the orange buttons on the side of your cart to get more magazines. Yum, yum! Scrumbridge Farms Cold Press Coagulated Baby Feed is made from 90% high fructose corn syrup and 20% horse meat. The taste of freedom in every bite. Baby's gonna grow up big and strong in no time. Now it's time for a little quiz. We want to make sure Baby is well educated as well as being a good shot. Which one of these is the triangle? Good job, kiddo. Which one of these is the color red? Well done. What does two plus two equal? Hit one of the orange buttons on the side of your cart to get a magazine. You'll have to catch it when it's in the air. Hit one of the orange buttons on the side of your cart to get a magazine. You'll have to catch it when it's in the air. One of the orange buttons on the side of your cart to get a magazine. You'll have to catch it when it's in the air. Hit one of the orange buttons on the side of your cart. You may have noticed that you're carrying a pair of Carter 1912 single action semi-automatic pistols. From the battlefield to your back pocket, the Carter 1912 will be the tool of choice for all your everyday needs. Let's see how the baby of tomorrow will learn how to use their very first gun. Before you can use the gun, you'll have to load it. 
Move your right gun or... That's it! Nothing like the sweet sound of a magazine sliding into the gun. Now do the same with your left gun. Great job! You're now armed and ready. Baby's hungry. We need to let mommy know. Knock on the door a few times to get her attention. You did it! Mommy's here and look what she has. It's time for lunch. Open wide for the airplane. Yum, yum. Scrumbridge Farms Cold Press Coagulated Baby Feed is made from 90% high fructose corn syrup and 20% horse meat. The taste of freedom in every bite. Baby's gonna grow up big and strong in no time. Now it's time for a little quiz. We want to make sure baby is well educated as well as being a good shot. Which one of these is the triangle? Well done. Which one of these is the color red? Well done. What does two plus two equal? You got it. Which one is your favorite animal? Ah, so that's your choice. How many bullets are there in a standard Carter 1912 magazine? Correct! Who is your best friend? Excellent choice, my friend. Looks like you're out of bullets. Hit the orange buttons on the side of your cart to get more magazines. Now let's learn how to aim our guns with a bit of target practice. A gun without aim is a dangerous thing. So make sure you know what you're shooting at. Shoot down each of the targets. Excellent! You're reloading like a champion now! That's it! Keep shooting those targets! Ducklings are so cute. You should shoot them. By the way, did you know you can also manually eject your magazines? Perfect for when you want full control over when to reload. To eject your magazine, press the highlighted button on your controller. That's the way. I can already tell that baby's going to grow up to be a star soldier. You've now mastered the use of your trusty pistols. Remember to handle with care and use them responsibly. Safety first. On being a baby. But you'll only fit those diapers for so long. Let's move on. button and let's continue our journey. The perfect American family lives under three key pillars. Love, life, and guns. Let's take a look at these core values in action as a father bonds with his child. Hey, sport, let's play catch. In the future, new technologies will bring families closer together than ever before. Smelly old baseball gloves will no longer be handed down from parent to child like a decaying shackle to a primeval past. In the future, every good God-fearing patriot will get solid, refined, American blued steel and eight rounds of pure patriotism in each hand. What are the rules 
in zebra baseball. Three stripes and you're out. And you're real good at smacking away dad's balls. <laughs> Maybe you don't repeat that ever. In order to properly bond with the American father, you must excel in at least one sport. Otherwise, you risk a lifetime of neglect, missed Little League games, and eventual abandonment. Fire! Fire. <laughs> I like the feel of this one. Why is the baseball stadium the coolest place to be? Because it's full of... Fans! That was fantastic! My dad played catch with me. His paws made it tricky, though. Hear about the baseball this player gonna without be children? Get ready! Always <laughs> play that one when you're older. <laughs> you're my kid, all right. Why was the baseball player? You went out on a bender. <laughs> Speaking of which, wonder what Ned's up to today. Tuesday after all. In the past, it was a sacred bonding experience to take children out hunting and teach them to use their first guns. However, since the children of the future will grow up with guns right from the moment of birth, family bonding can happen even earlier. And in the safe environment of the home. Very good at smacking away dad's balls. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, maybe don't repeat that. This one's gonna be a bit harder. You have no idea how much self-control it takes take not to chase that ball me. right now. Used to come at that time. <laughs> nice ball handling, kiddo. I just know you'll make a crack shot marksman when you're older. I guess the apple doesn't get shot down too far from the tree. High five! <laughs> For strong high five you got there. Don't want to break your old man's wrist, do you, hero? <laughs> As you now see, guns can create new, exciting experiences for the entire family unit, making them even stronger than the families of yesteryear. They can all share in the Patriot experience and have fun whilst keeping everyone safe. An armed family is a happy family. to the teenage bedroom. The room is in a predictable state of disarray, reflecting the tumultuous emotional state of the average American teenager. It is a time when hormones rage, pimples bulge, and young Americans discover themselves, sometimes repeatedly. What's all that noise in there? Did you get into your father's Forget that old relic. We live in a post broom world. You don't need a broomstick when you have a boomstick. Instead of sweeping up like some kind of Neanderthal, use your guns to get mom off our back. See all those items scattered on the ground? You'll need to put them back in the place. Squeaky clean, even better than new. Those bullet casings scattered on the floor, that's called interior design. Ah, that's looking much nice. Great work, honey. Let's get these curtains open and let in some fresh air.
This window would sure make a great sniping vantage point. Here at the American Dream, you can use your hard-earned dollars to trial the latest and greatest in firearms technology. First off, we have the Simpson M1905, a high-powered bolt-action rifle. This versatile tool was the standard-issue rifle for the U.S. military in World War I and is still used to this day. While only capable of firing one shot at a time, what the Simpson lacks in rate of fire, it certainly makes up for in range. All this and more can be yours for the low price of $9.99. Sure, you could spend that money on candy, but did you know that candy is a serious choking hazard that kills hundreds of innocent children every year? Hold up! Before you can purchase that gun, you'll need to pass the mandatory three-day waiting period. Ha! Just kidding! In the future, we will have abolished all state and federal laws around new gun waiting periods. This means that all Americans will be able to get as many guns as they want, whenever they want. God forbid the government would make us wait to get our hands on something we were born to own. Congratulations! The Simpson Rifle is yours. Pick it up with your dominant hand. Ah, oh, the Kruger has jammed. Good thing we strapped a hand to it so it can still have a use. Those Europeans just can't do anything without us, huh? This here is the Kruger 1898. This ludicrous over-engineered pistol has the stopping power of a pea thrown by an anemic child. Thankfully, our American scientists have added some modifications to make the Kruger useful again. It now comes equipped with a hand apparatus, allowing you to pick up and handle certain objects. Feels good, doesn't it? You'll also need an extra tool to operate the rifle. To load the gun, you'll first need to cock the rifle. Use your hand gun to pull the bolt up and back. Once the rifle has been cocked, use your hand gun to pick up the magazine on the left-hand side of the cart and push it into the underside of the rifle. Great! Now push the bolt back into place, and you're good to go. Nice work. You're locked and loaded. Why don't we give our new toy a whirl? Let's go over to the window and do some shooting. I think those targets just insulted your mother. What are you going to do about it? Great shot, kiddo. Ranging up to 2,850 yards, it's the perfect instrument for tasks that require a little more reach. This model is also equipped with a premium, high-precision optical lens for greater firing accuracy. No target is going to escape your sights with this baby. Remember, the Simpson must be cocked after each shot. Ha <laughs> ha! Great shot! Bullseye! Nicely done. Great shot! It's your next door neighbors, the Barrett Twins. I've seen you looking wistfully towards your crush. Knock on the window of the one you like, and I'll show you how guns can help navigate the treacherous pathways of teenage romance. Ah. Uh, 
Taylor. She's a real cutie, isn't she? Looks like you got her attention. Are you sure that's the choice you want to go in? Excellent. Hey, is that Mr. Cinnamon? Get out of the way, you stupid cat. Taylor will now hold out the question, and you can shoot to select your response. With conversation cut down to the bare essentials, chatting up your teenage crush has never been easier. Such a beautiful thing. Who's got a date this weekend? With your natural charms and that gun by your side, you're sure to win Taylor over. However, there's more to romance than cracking a good joke and having a clean room, as we'll soon find out. tradition, which is why you're going with Taylor to the Independence Day Carnival for your very first date. Look, here she is now. The so good to see you again. A wide range I've been looking forward to for this you all and week. Taylor to enjoy. Let's go check out the target shooting. Step up, roll up, come one, come all. Put your marksmanship to the test and win a prize for that special someone. You there. You look like a crack shot. Come on down. The rules are simple. You have five shots to hit as many of the bottles as possible to earn points. Capish? This sounds like so much fun. Sure got some stuff in power. You sure got some stuff in power. Nice shooting. On to the next round. What the 
the next stage, we'll once again unholster our faithful Carter 1912 pistols. Grab them and we'll carry on. The teenage year, a time of curiosity, discovery, and growth. It is at this right age that American boys and girls begin to enter the workforce and learn how to provide for themselves. In order to become productive members of society, future generations need to be equipped with more than just high-powered firearms. They need the strong work ethic and a can-do attitude that defines us. America. You've taken on your first part-time job at the Heston's. Ensure that both sides of the patio are cooked evenly. However, you need to be careful not to leave them on the grill for too long, or else they could burn. Our master burger artisan, Earl E. Bird, is on the other side of the grill. Turning your patties into fast food masterpieces. Once each burger has been assembled, press the order up button so that your co-worker can deliver the burgers to our eager customers. You know what goes well with burgers? Freedom! from old Colonel Heston would be to take it from his cold, dead hands. But I can reveal to you today that the key ingredients are simply a dash of bullet shrapnel and a splash of pubescent perspiration. Whoops! <laughs> I dropped the burger! not to burn yourself on the grill. Safety first! To me, the patties will be made with fresh cat meat. But hey. We got a burger coming up! The queue of burgers is getting long. Hit the order up button to tell her to get those burgers moving. of any nutritious breakfast. Mm -hmm. That is a tasty burger. Burger up! Whoops! <laughs> I dropped the burger! Food experience can be likened to the firing of a bullet. 
The food comes out fast, enters the body of the customer, and then exits shortly afterwards at extreme velocity. Speedy taste satisfaction is just the pull of the proverbial trigger away. Get hurt! The burger! It coming! What a fresh burger! Oh man! I'm definitely getting fired! The queue of burgers is getting long. Hit the order up button to tell Al to get those burgers moving. See my reflection in Earl's forehead. You've earned a whopper load of dough there, trooper. Remember, in America, the keys to success are a big smile, a big wad of cash, and a big gun. You're most of the way there, so keep it up. The queue of burgers is getting long. Hit the order up button to tell Earl to get those burgers moving. Too bad for Aldo. Due to his suck now performance, he'll be getting some personal discipline from Mr. Henry. The twilight of your teenage years. Prom night and the end of high school education marks a point when teenagers are finally released from their shackles and become free to experience the freedoms this nation has to offer to its dear citizens. However, we must remember that those freedoms weren't granted to us. They were won with American bravery, steel, and blood.
This year's prom theme is the American Revolution. Remember when the British tyrants gripped the throat of liberty and we bravely fought them off our sacred sword. It was pretty great, huh? Just like our courageous militiamen and their brilliant leaders, you will be venturing forth into the field of battle to fight for your right to party. You invited your high school sweetheart, Taylor, to the prom. And she said, yes. From what I hear, plenty of other boys asked her, but she chose you in the end. Oh, hey there. Glad you could make it, partner. And there she is. Isn't she beautiful? You look pretty dashing yourself, might I say. How about we get a photo of the lovely couple? Give us your best action pose. Three, two, one. Say, Liberty! Oh, yes. Say hello to my little friends. Meet the Gunnies! It seems like the photo was too dark. Let's try that again with the flash. Give us another pose. Three, two, one. Say, overthrowing the tyrannical British hordes. Beautiful photo. You two just might think prom king and queen. Hey, let's go dance. Taylor's calling you over to dance. Never mind that you've never danced in your life. With your guns on the dance floor, you're sure to blow away the crowd. Let's have a practice round. Watch her and mirror each of her moves. Raise your left hand above your head. Good. Now extend your right hand to the side. Great. That's the way you're a natural. Practice time is over. Let's get to the real thing. She won't wait for you anymore, so do your best to keep up. You ready? Come on, Snake, let's rattle!
isn't that last year's prom king, Rex George? What's he doing here? Hey, Dolly, why don't you leave that Saturday Night Special over there and let me show you how real prom king dances. That nosebleed is trying to show off to Taylor. That son of a gun is cruising for a bruising. He has some mean moves, but he doesn't have a pair of Carter 1912s. You there, I challenge you to a dance-off. Taylor, my dear, step back and watch as I raise your berries. We cannot let him trample on our honor. It's time to duel, prom style. On the count of three, three, two, one, dance. <laughs> Shot him straight down. That'll teach him to mess with a certified gunslinger like yourself. It looks like they're about to announce the prom king and queen. This year's prom king and queen are you! Hooray! We did it! Congratulations! Like the heroes of old, you have defeated the tyrannical rulers, freeing the people and paving way for a dance war where all men are created equal. What a lovely evening. Let us recap the lessons we've learned tonight. Firstly, you never know when tyranny may strike, and we must always be ready. Secondly, it takes strength to overthrow tyranny, and guns give us the strength we need. When our honor and liberty is at stake, shoot fast and ask questions later. You don't win wars with words. You win them with genuine American blue steel. As we forge onward towards the future, it's important to know where we've come from. Let's turn back the clock for a moment and look into the history of the beloved gun. It all began when some Chinese folks discovered gunpowder and used it in these ridiculous looking hand cannons. I like to see you can still carry one of those. Some stuff happened over in Europe, but nobody really cares about that. What matters is, the gun eventually made its way to the shores of our sacred land. Turns out rifles were pretty useful for taking out the redcoats in the Revolutionary War. And so, from the freshly smoking barrel of a gun, the United States of America was born. In the years that followed, the American people flourished, set about establishing systems that would position us as the most resourceful nation in the world. We invented high-precision machines that automated and sped up the rate of production of goods like never before. This process was called the American System of Manufacture. But later was simplified to manufacturing. prices. A steady income allows you to pay for basic needs such as food, shelter, and jobs. That's why you've taken up a job as a car wash attendant to help our fellow citizens keep their vehicles shiny and squeaky clean. 
for this job will require a bit more firepower than we've been used to. Introducing the Johnson Submachine Gun. First deployed in 1918 for use in trench warfare. This gun also saw frequent use by friendly neighborhood gangsters to uphold street justice. The fully automatic Johnson is capable of firing 250 grain bullets at a rate of 1,200 rounds per minute. Making it perfect for heavy-duty cleaning tasks such as washing cars, trimming stray nose hairs, and garden maintenance. First, hit the illuminated button on your card to get a new magazine. Good. Now catch it. That's the way. Now insert it into the SMG as shown in the diagram. By the way, don't forget that you can grip the front of the SMG to stabilize your aim. Try it now. Sensational. Your gun is loaded and ready to rumble. Nothing's gonna stand in the way of you and your Johnson. Let's test out this baby's firepower with a bit of target practice. The SMG is a fully automatic weapon, meaning you can hold down the trigger and it will continue to fire as long as there are bullets in the magazine. Try taking out all the targets in one sweeping motion. Nice work. You're on a kill streak. That you're equipped with your new tool, let's put it to use. You'll be earning minimum wage. But the good news is, you don't have to work a minimum number of hours. The clients of the Winchester Car Wash are busy doing their part in the capitalist machine. They can only stop by for a short time. Luckily, our trusty weapons deck can be used to blast all the dirt from their cars before they move on. If you can shoot it off fast enough, that is. But if you do completely clean a car, you'll get a nice pay bonus. Great! That car's looking good as new. 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 In the industry, there is a technique known as tactical reloading where users will eject the magazine manually and reload early to anticipate future actions. This is also referred to as pro strats or elite skills. Great! That car is looking good as new. Excellent work. Looks like it's just about time to wrap up with a... Oh, oh God! Your stupid co-worker has turned on the hose and it's out of control! God damn it, Earl! with a 60mm nozzle, capable of producing a whopping 1,200 kilopascals of water pressure. I have no idea what that means, but the only way we watch it for the water spray. We're going to stop it is to match its might with the strength of our fully automatic Johnson SMG. No time to dawdle. You're the only one with a gun. Time to use it. Lives are on the line. Turn off that hose.
The only thing that stops a bad hose is a good guy with a gun. Let's head to the next stage. of the romantic dinner and proposal. Plus, the couple finds a decent but affordable restaurant to wine and dine. When the moment is right, one lover pulls out an expensive piece of metal and asks the other for their hand in marriage. If things go well, they get married and live happily ever after. If not, then it's, it's quite awkward for, for quite a while. Welcome to La Barretta, where meals are shot fresh out of Nonna Barretta's kitchen. Whilst the proper American diet consists of burgers and milkshakes, this occasion calls for something more exotic. That's right. We're going to have Italian hamburgers and milkshakes. So good to see you, dear. How was your day? That's wonderful. This is such a nice place you found. It's very romantic. Buongiorno, it's me, Stivan. Welcome to Le Barretta. You two are looking stunning tonight. And I can tell by the way that you have been banging your pistols on the table that you are ready to eat. Please take a look at the many options of our menu. I'm sure you will choose something befitting this exquisite occasion. The deluxe are a bank weed. I'm illegally obliged to tell you that the five people were sent to the emergency room after ordering that. Though you look like you have the constitution to handle it. I'll be back with you on three in a moment. While we're waiting, let me explain proper gun etiquette at the dining table. In front of you, you'll find several utensils, each for a different part of your course. Simply use the gun starting from the outside and work inwards with each dish, smallest to largest. We want to impress Taylor, so let's deploy our best table manners and show her that you aren't some kind of ignorant savage. You're on three. A fine Sicilian salad served with a sweet vinaigrette. Enjoy your meal, my amazingly attractive friends. That was simply divine. Honey, can you call the waiter to let him know we're done? to the heavens that everything was satisfactory. Let me clear the table for you. In Italy, we use our hands. However, this is America! I will be back shortly with your next dish. I guess those Europeans are good for more than just feeding the gun economy. They provide a decent feed at the dinner table, too. Next up, 
we have a dish specially prepared for the noble patriots like yourselves. I present our speciality, the Italian hamburger. Please enjoy. Wow. That's the wrong gun. Try a different one. I trust that the meal was just as fantastic as your fashion sense. Damn it, we got the worst table in the restaurant. You see, a savvy American always sits in a corner to give them a full view of the area so that they are ready to shoot down any would-be attackers. They're offering a $5 discount for sitting at an unsafe table, but I'd say safety is priceless. The next dish is a Sardinian delicacy, Kazur Marzu, perhaps the finest cheese on the planet. Wait, you're telling me it's better than American cheese? <laughs> By the beard of Lincoln! Maggots! <laughs> Horrifying! This is why you should only eat American cheese, which contains no actual cheese but a whole load of wonderful things like patriotism, reconstituted dairy, and rubber. Also, that real stuff is likely to give you weird cheese dreams. Oh, darling, you're my weird cheese dream. Okay, that's enough about dreams. with a pure joy. I knew you would love it from the moment you deliberately chose it from the menu. Now I hope you'll have some room. And if not, just wait for the maggots to wriggle down into your intestines. I will fetch your dessert. The final course of our signature dessert, served in Russian style, I present to you Non Barretta's famous spicy chocolate truffle. <coughs> the truffle is infused with the Calabrian demon chills, ranged from the ninth circle of hell itself. Their capsaicinoid concentration is so over the charge that they actually melt the skull of his skin, consuming them can cause the bleeding gums, hallucinations, eternal third degree burns, and profuse rectal hemorrhaging. Now we got ourselves a game. You and me. Did he know? A one of the chambers in that revolver contains the trophy. Gone into your mouth, and if you're lucky, you'll get a load of Nana Barretta's hot love. So long! spend the rest of my days praying that you enjoy your meal tonight. Here is the bill, senor. <coughs> oh, dear! 
here. I wasn't a wary yet. A very good senor. When I said I wanted it. Yeah, I didn't mean one with the hollow point. I have a lovely evening. Thank you for tonight, honey. I've had such a wonderful time. Things are looking good. Let's set the stage for the big question. Why don't you try picking Taylor's favorite song from the jukebox? That's our song! You really know how to make a girl feel special. Time to seal the deal! Now, Taylor, I believe my friend here has a proposal for you. Yes, I will marry you. I love you. Hooray! She said yes! Fire the gun in her hand and pop that engagement ring off. Hey, so my parents are out of town for the weekend. How about we swing over to my place for the night? Oh, oh. Taylor's invited you to a Let's go. Sexual intercourse. Now, the ratings board wouldn't want me going into nitty gritty details, but I'll try to explain it in simplified terms that you can understand. To create a baby, we need a sperm cell and an egg. Think of the sperm cell as a bullet and the egg as its target. The shooter will position themselves to fire a barrage of bullets towards the target. And even though it may take the shooter many attempts, and they might have to wait until the target is in the right mood to be shot at, the shooter will eventually penetrate the target with one of their bullets. This process is called conception. Think of it like the genesis of America. Born from the many bullets piercing the bodies of our enemies. Anyway... Around nine months later, a healthy baby will be born into the world. And that's where you came from. Let me take a moment to introduce you to another one of our fantastic lifestyle products. Well, she've used a variety of guns for mid to long range encounters. When the task calls for something a bit more up close and personal, we have the trusty shotgun. Introducing the Steinberg Quick Action Shotgun. Its short range pellet dispersion and conical spread guarantees blasts that are potent and powerful for those especially intimate moments. Featuring a lightweight wooden stock, it's a joy to grip, either for yourself or your partner. And quite excellent. I'm sure those targets felt the force of your passion. The Steinberg also has a special function. If you pump it repeatedly, you can charge up your shots to get them flaming hot. Try it now. There we go. Up and ready for action. Now shoot down the rest of those targets with flaming shots. Pump it up a few times until you can see smoke coming from the gun. Remember, you need to have the shotgun's grip in the forward position before you can fire. Boom! 
shakalaka. Talk about a fiery passion. Make sure to use the flaming shots when you want to get things a bit more heated than usual. Oh, <laughs> that tickles. I guess it's time for bed. Traditionally, partners slept in separate beds to discourage inappropriate behavior. Those beds are separated. It's a little awkward. Wow, what are you doing? Cut that out. This is getting a bit too romantic. Wait, candles? Don't you dare light those up. Hey there, hot stuff. Why don't we get those clothes off of you? Well, if you're gonna do it, just as we practice safe gun use, remember to practice safe sex. Use protection. Make sure you have the safety on to prevent any unwanted surprises. What are you waiting for? Undress me. Whoa, wait a minute. Are you even listening? Hey. <laughs> watching you grow into a model American citizen and master the use of your trusty guns. As part of our regular procedure, I'd like to ask you a few questions. How many bullets have you fired since the start of your journey? Correct you are. How much time do you think has passed since we began our journey? Good. 
when an intruder comes into your house, which item will help you the most? Correct! Our studies have shown that a gun will be the best option in 99 out of 100 house invasions. And the other time? It's a chainsaw. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love America? Yes, that is the correct answer. Who is a good boy? I see. Next question. Ah, oh, thank you. Whoa. How many degrees should you spend for a no-scope shot? Incorrect. Correct. Anything less than you're a filthy noob. Thank you. During the intermission, feel free to get up and use the restroom, or perhaps purchase some sweet snacks or guns to keep your body and mind satisfied and to keep the glorious capitalist machine well-oiled. We've got a lot more in store for you, so rest up, relax, and when you're ready, we will proceed. The pioneers of the gun industry began with humble ambitions. Some saw the rifle as nothing more than a machine made to throw balls. But it was the keen American eyes of our gun industrialists that realized the untapped potential of those balls. Combining American ingenuity with our unmatched manufacturing processes, those noble poets of wood and steel went on to produce guns en masse. It was a glorious age of progress for our industry, but there was one problem. All these guns needed owners, and there just wasn't enough war around to match our supply. An American once said, if you want to make a pile of money, Invent something that will enable these Europeans to cut each other's throats with greater facility. And so we shipped our guns to Europe, helping our friends slaughter each other for a while, and business boomed. It was a time of great innovation and prosperity. We made repeating rifles, revolving pistols, Gatling guns, semi-automatic pistols, and even a gentleman's cane gun. However, as our industry grew, we began to see the limits of the market. Relying on ebb and flow of war was simply not sustainable. The gun began as a commodity like any other, an appliance to fulfill a specific purchase throw metal balls at high velocity. However, for our industry to survive and to extend our reach, we needed to elevate the gun to greater heights. All right, good to go? Get comfy, strap yourself in, and let's begin the second half of your journey into the American dream. Anyway, the rest of the 
your life begins here. You'll be working a soul-crushing job nine to five, coming home to a family that won't appreciate you, and looking forward to the weekends so you can fill yourself with alcohol and begin the cycle all over again. Let that sink in for a moment. <laughs> Don't worry, I was joking. Only half of that was true. That man behind you is Taylor's brother. He's quite eager to see his dear sister get married. You aren't getting cold feet, are you? Relax. It's natural to have terrible doubts before committing to one person for life. Thankfully, you have just what you need to deal with this predicament. Come on, pull yourself together. You need to warm up those cold feet of yours. legislation permits. We do. Do you pledge to use your firepower to defend yourselves, each other, and all fellow patriots who are well and good in this beautiful country? We do. May these rings be blessed as a symbol of your union. As often as either of you look upon these rings, may you not only be reminded of this moment, but also of the vows you have made and the strength of your commitment to each other and to your country. Have any person show just cause why they may not be joined together? Let them speak now or forever hold their peace. out of the way, go now in peace and live in love, sharing the most precious gifts you have, the gifts of your lives united, and your right to bear arms. And may your days be long on this earth, the chances of which increase with daily target practice. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Now, as is 
customary, you will leave the charge as the guests spray you with bullets. The bullets represent rice, which was once used to represent seeds, which were used to represent fertility. But since you've already knocked up, Taylor, <laughs> well, it's uh, all a bit of a good point anyway. <laughs> Onward to the rest of your life. Take a look inside the factory of the future, where a single employee can do the work of many. You made it just in time for work. Here at Golding's Bagel Company, all our bagels are lovingly gun-crafted to perfection. Most customers can't even taste the lead. Hit the button to start up the machinery. Remember, the secret to a delicious bagel is the well-cooked dough in that perfect hole in the center. You let a fullness bagel through. Now some poor customer will probably have a nervous breakdown. Remember, guns don't shoot the holes out of bagels. People shoot the holes out of bagels. Whoa, no. Someone's left something nasty in the dough. Get that into the bin before it gets into the oven. Keep working hard. We need more bagels. And the boss needs more diamonds encrusted into his watch. Remember, guns don't shoot the holes out of bagels. People shoot the holes out of bagels. Marvel in the unmatched efficiency of the American system of manufacturing. With our cutting edge machinery and talented workers, whether it be bagels or guns, we have the ability to produce more than anyone could possibly need in a lifetime. Remember, guns don't shoot the holes out of bagels. People shoot the holes out of bagels. A bagel without a hole is like a patriot without a flag. It's lunchtime. Use the vending machine and order yourself a tasty meal. And eat up to make sure you have enough bullets in your proverbial magazine. keep our citizens fed. The good people of the gun industry work around the clock to ensure a steady supply of guns to keep our American citizens safe. These are good family people, like yourself, who want nothing more than to earn a living and feel safe. Without a hole is like a patriot without a flag. A bagel without a hole is like a patriot without a flag. The boss is watching. Make sure you keep those bagels coming. I'm up. I think the boss will be pleased with the results. does it for today. Let's get moving. After a long day's 
squad, you now get to enjoy the weekend with your sweetheart. We've prepared two iconic American activities for you to enjoy. First, beer. Oh, this does nice catch. Now crack it open and have a swig. Our Patriot Ready beers are brewed with love and ample amounts of Patriot juice. Extracted fresh from the deep mines of Wisconsin. You won't find a beer as delicious as this anywhere else in the world. Except maybe Australia. But they banned guns there, so they can go get fucked. Ah, refreshing. Shoot your cans into the trash to dispose of them. Shoot your can into the trash to properly dispose of it. The garbage bin in the corner. Get the can into it. Now that you've learned how to drink a beer like a true American, let me share the next activity. Television! This all-knowing box of knowledge delivers up-to-date news about the community, the country, and less importantly, the rest of the world. Turn on the TV, kick back, relax, and enjoy a well-earned break. Breaking news. After a recent expression of freedom in a schoolyard, the president has expressed his desire to restrict the sale and use of automatic assault weapons. Seriously? Those damn gun grabbers are at it again. They just can't leave our freedom alone. The America we love is burning before our very eyes. Are you fed up with tiny shoelaces by hand? Introducing the Carter 1912, the one-stop tool for all your everyday needs. Just shoot yourself in the foot and you're good to go. We cannot keep giving a platform to these mass shooters. We are awarding them with wall-to-wall -wall attention and the sense of identity that they crave. The media are creating a whole new generation of copycat killers, and they must be strong. Ah. Copycat killers, almost as bad as actual cats. When you're out hunting and get surrounded by a hundred bears, what are you going to do? Let them take you captive and have their way with you back in the depths of the bear cave? Don't be a victim. Arm yourself with an SR-15 assault rifle and send those frisky bears straight to hell. Taylor's water has broken. We need to get her to the hospital so that the baby can be safely brought into the world. You remember the emergency services number, don't you? It was three numbers, right? That's not it. Try again.
No, not that number. I think he just ordered a pizza. Wait, what's the number for 911 again? Hello, operator? We've got a woman in labor, and she's ready to deliver us a fresh American Patriot. We need an ambulance pronto. And here they are, the ambulance service, much like your guns, can always be counted upon to take care of you in times of need. We're now at Coke Hospital, where the kind doctors and nurses will help Taylor deliver your beautiful child. Like all good Americans, doctors have learned how guns can enhance their productivity in new ways. Rather than relying on dangerous surgical instruments, such as scalpels and forceps, doctors have a variety of medical guns to use instead. Surgery has never been safer. Now we play the waiting game and leave the rest to our skilled American doctors. I assure you, things are going fine. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Is that guy smoking in a hospital? How irresponsible. Good riddance. This hospital is a safe space once more. Remember, only cigars should be smoked in a hospital and only after the baby is delivered. she grow up to be an Olympic shooter, a raider of tunes, a masterful chief, a bounty hunter, a gear of war, a bald space marine, a soldier that answers the call of duty in modern warfare. Anything is possible. Our beautiful baby girl. What should we call her? What a wonderful name. We'll call her Bang. Seeing you two and your new baby makes me think of how the gun factory of tomorrow will spawn new guns and gun owners for generations to come. I hope you're as excited to see it as I am. You've worked diligently and have been able to purchase your very own home. Whilst your partner takes care of many of the indoor chores, such as the laundry and cleaning, it's up to you to get your guns dirty with the gardening tasks. In many ways, this garden could serve as an allegory for our country. It is vast. 
awe-inspiring and home to many fine things. The different plants represent the variety of citizens that call America home. Some good and some bad. The good plants represent the innocent, law-abiding, freedom-loving masses. Then there are the bad plants. Think of them as the parasites, villains, cats, communists and predators that intrude on our peaceful territory. Amongst the population, there are exceptionally good flowers, such as the noble rose. Roses, with their stunning looks and sharp thorns, represent the patriots like you and I. Strong, refined, intelligent, incredibly good-looking, and deadly when necessary. You are a rose, and your guns are your thorns. Remember, it is the duty of the roses to protect the garden. just useful for tidying up in the garden. They can also be tools for nurturing flowers and helping them to grow to their fullest potential. Here we have a nursery of America's Libertus Bellus Perennis, or American Daisies, known to be one of the most brilliant flowers in the world. They must be cared for with the tender love that only submachine gun fire can provide. Oh, hey there! How's it going? I could really go for a drink right now. That flower looks thirsty. We need to find a way to get water onto it. I could really go for a drink right now. that you ask? How does shooting a cloud make it rain? It's really just a simple science. Bullets plus cloud equals rain. Duh. Oh yeah! Oh, that's good! Now be sure to keep those flowers happy and healthy. Now the perfect garden wouldn't be complete without a nice hedge to frame it. Our hedge wall is looking tall and even now. But as it is subject to the whims of nature, this may not always be the case. See? Nature. Unreliable. Guns, on the other hand, they're never gonna let you down. When Mother Nature misbehaves, we can help her up with a bit of man-made ingenuity. Use your gun to trim the tall hedges, and then call down rainwater to grow the short hedges and get it back into the correct shape. Let's get the garden into tip-top shape. Get those hedges tall and even. Take care of those flowers and make sure the lawn doesn't get overrun by weeds. consistency sure rises my berries. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The sweet scent of liberty has attracted a group of angry birds. They've got their eyes set on the delicious pie that Taylor baked for us. That pie was baked with loving American hands. And by God, it will be eaten with American mouths. Good thing we have our faithful leader.
illegal to defend us. Go, Eddie! Uh, okay, well, no matter. I guess it's up to us. Stop those red bastards from taking over our garden. Defend the fly until the timer runs out. Oh, yeah! That's cool. Just as good as... 